Well, as uh, Grapevine Communications, our advertising agency, we're often called upon to take in interns, um, <laughs> give our opinions, do critiques of their work, and often uh, we're asked to go and guest speak at different organizations and within the college. I see it done. Um, so I've done it every year uh, for about five years now. This is the first year I haven't done it. And I always love to come and talk to the students and tell them about what's happening really in the, in the life of an advertising agency. What, it's, what's, what can you expect? What are, what are the pitfalls, but what are the benefits? And it's always our pleasure to do that. So I like to support SEF and especially the art students. Well, and it's so important for these students to get real world experience and for you to offer that to them. I mean, those internships mean so much. Well, thanks. It's, it's really part of the process. Uh, we actually had an SEF intern that has started with us 10 years ago and ha became a full-time employee and has been with us ever since. She just had a baby and uh, she's still with us and you know we continue to grow our staff and love to have interns come in because if we can train them the right way um, there's plenty of opportunity to grow in this field. And so many successes I'm sure. Oh there really are and thanks for having us. Let us be part of it. Yeah and thank you for all you do and it's going to be a great evening looking forward to it. I'm absolutely looking forward to it. I already got my my uh, little raffle tickets. So oh, be perfect. Fun. Yeah, we're going to try and raise a lot of money this evening. That's all what it's all about. Support the kids. Thank you, Angela. My pleasure. Great to see you. Thank you. Hi, we're here with Judge Williams. Judge Williams, so great to see you this evening. It's great to be out. And we're here at Avenue D'Artis mm -hmm. supporting the foundation, supporting the State College of Florida. Yes, State College of Florida is really one of our educational jewels and anything we can do to support it, uh, it does so much for our community and educating uh, the members of this community that it's always a privilege to be able to come out and support anything that they're doing. And the artwork that's here this evening, just spectacular. It is. I think it speaks to the uh, talents and the abilities of uh, students here and I think that uh, you know a lot of people are looking at it so uh, hopefully it will raise a lot of money and the works that are on display and the talents that are here locally in our community and what that foundation does to support the arts. It does. Uh, there's so much talent in this community and institutions like State College of Florida gives people an opportunity to display those talents like you're, what you're seeing tonight. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Judge Williams, and I hope you have a great evening. You too. Thank you. We're here with Vernon Desir. What a great event. Well, yes, this is, uh, I didn't get to come last year because I was out of town, so I was really looking forward to uh, being able to see uh, what I heard about the previous year. So I'm very happy to be here, um, very happy to support State College of Florida. And tell me a little bit about some of the artists you know personally. Well, the Caps family, uh, uh, their daughter is uh, got one uh, from London, the London horse, and then she's got a whole uh, uh, wall behind me over here <laughs> uh, of, of, uh, of uh, black and white shots. And we were talking about the fact that scarily some of us were here when they did black and white shots. <laughs> but uh, but that's, uh, you know, that's the way it is. You just kind of grow with age and all. But I'm very proud of the fact that the college uh, really uh, focuses on arts in education as well as you know the obvious education that we need to have and that brings out uh, uh, the best in, in our kids I think. And what does the foundation, the support of that mean for these students? Well this, the, the State College of Florida is particularly close to me in that we uh, at the hospital, Manti Memorial Hospital, we have a uh, whole uh, program toward nursing. And so we, through our efforts and other hospitals in the, in the area, we're able to help build the Lakewood Ranch campus uh, to bring Bachelor of uh, 
uh, arts and nursing to this community. We didn't have it before then, and our students had to always go to Tampa to get those uh, degrees. So, uh, you know, we're, we're invested here, engaged. Uh, and so much that the State College of Florida offers to our community. Oh my goodness, it's just, it's tremendous. I think when you've evolved from Manatee Junior College to Manatee Community College to State College of Florida, and you've been here throughout all of the history, you know of the, the um, talent and leadership uh, that it takes to, to do something of this magnitude and to make it successful. And so having known all of the presidents and having that history uh, makes it all the more special to me. And you're going to be doing the auction this evening? I, I am. Uh, they said, uh, you know, be nice to people. And I said, well, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make them pay. <laughs> I'm going to make them give me money. But it's all for education, all good stuff. So, you know, why not? Well, thank you so for spending nice time. You. Yes, and thank you for doing the auction this evening. Take care. We're here with Commissioner Vanessa Boss. So good to see you this evening. Thank you. It's wonderful to be here. I love this event. And tell me a little bit about what the foundation means to our community. You know, SEF is so important, and the foundation is just there to make sure that in the future, all of our citizens that might be coming to SEF, that we have the best programs available so that when people come to SEF, they can get a good job when they leave. And that's really what it's about, serving the citizens of Manatee County. And the foundation supports so many of our students to breed success in our community. Wonderful success. If you look at the outcome of our students at SEF and where they are today, uh, we have a great success uh, rating there. So we're really blessed to have SEF and everyone that's involved and the professors and the, the administration. Everyone just does a great job. It's wonderful. We can't do without the foundation. And to give the students the opportunities that they have here, not only in the arts, but in so many programs that, that help them achieve their goals. You know, one thing that people don't think about is economic development. We have an awful lot of businesses that come to the area. In fact, last year, the foundation, that's what this event covered, was different um, classes that might be needed for students to take where they could get jobs with businesses that were moving to Manatee County. So it, it has a great economic impact. And a lot of businesses come here from abroad and they might need a workforce. So we need to make sure that we have the workforce that these businesses are needing so they'll come here and stay in Manatee County. Absolutely, and I had time and reviewed the strategic plan for the EDC. It is so exciting of what we have coming up in our community, and people just think we're such a small community, but we have so much. Well, I don't know if you're familiar with Feld Entertainment. Um, you know, when you look at Feld, and by the way, they're moving the rest of their crew here, so they will all be headquartered now. Feld will all be in Manatee County. Um, you know, and then we just had another business that agreed to come here to Manatee County that's uh, involved with the EDC. So we're, we're up and growing. We're a growing area. Everyone wants to move here, but then again, why wouldn't they? Absolutely. So I can understand it. <laughs> I you can know. too. You've got Absolutely. the island. and You have beautiful beaches. You have beautiful islands. You have uh, out east. You have rural areas if you want to go horseback riding or if you want to go to a polo game. We have everything here. So it, it's just a wonderful place. And SEF plays such a big, big part in that. Well, thank you so much for spending time with us this evening, and I hope you have a great, great evening. And I look forward to seeing you on the Planning Commission. Oh, thank with you. With the City of Bradenton. And the MPO. And well, the MPO, absolutely. It's nice to know that you're also involved in the community. It's so important to be involved in our community as it's growing and be a part of that growth. It is. So have a wonderful evening. I think it's going to be a big success. Great turnout so far, and uh, they're going to raise a lot of money tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you. We're here with Jamie Tracy. Jamie, tell me a little bit about, as the art chair, what this event means to you. Well, this event puts all the focus on our students. Um, we have beginning students through advanced students, 
It shows what they've accomplished every semester since they've been here, from photography, graphic design, drawing, painting. Um, it, it really shows how much they can accomplish in the short time that we get them. And how, what does the scholarship mean to our students here at SCF? Well, our students come from all walks of life. Some of them are working full-time jobs, and scholarships are the only opportunity for them to um, take the classes they need to transfer uh, to, to better the life that they are in. And tell me some of your successes that you've had. Uh, we've had numerous students go on to some of the best schools in the world. Um, Cleveland Institute of Arts, School of Visual Arts. Um, over the past five years, we've had students receive over $1.5 million in transfer scholarship money, uh, which is uh, amazing for us. And it's, it's, it really is a testament to, to how hard they work here. We've got a great facility and great faculty to support our students. And we're looking forward to seeing the arts that are on display. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, it comes from every discipline that we have at the college, um, excluding 3D, but uh, darkroom prints and photography to digital prints and photography, uh, graphic design posters, still life paintings, figure drawings. Um, you know, there, there are no limits in what we can do in our building. Well, Jamie, thank you so much for what you do for our students here at SCF. And hope you have a great evening. You too, thanks. We're here with Brian Thomas. Brian, what a great event this is this evening. Oh, this is fantastic. The weather is, is amazing and this is just a really optimal night to bring the community together and, and celebrate the, the State College of Florida. And tell me a little bit about what the foundation means to our community. Well, the foundation is a tie for, between the college and the community and they're good at gathering people and bringing them under the umbrella of the college and really connecting those people who want to do things for the students and have the, the wherewithal to help the students with programs, infrastructure, all those things that make a college grow. And tonight, all the students' artwork on display, it's beautiful. Oh, it's, it's fantastic. My wife is already spending my money. Oh, she is? Oh, she is. Yeah, <laughs> she's already got one picked out. There, there's so much talent here, and, and it's great to see these students get the, one, the exposure, but also the experience of being able to promote their art and price it and sell it and, and they get all the money how fantastic is that oh, so they do. so anyone buying art tonight they're helping these students finance their education and their lives that is so exciting and i know they're so proud to have their artwork on display and to sell it and i didn't know that they get to keep the money wow that's uh, it's, fantastic it's great when you when you walk up there and you say okay who's the artist and, you, and they get to step forward and, and claim that that's their work. It's really an incredible opportunity for them. And I can't wait to talk to some of them this evening to see how this really has changed their lives. It's just a fantastic opportunity for them and, and to get, I think, and for the people in this community to understand the talent that's here and that resides in these students and the great faculty that prepare them for a night like tonight. Absolutely. Thank you so much for all you do for SCF and our community. Mm, thank you. Appreciate the opportunity. Have a great evening. You too. Thanks. <laughs> We're here with Mary Glass this evening. Mary, so great to see you again. Thank you. And my reaction to this is, wow. I mean, it's really a nice event. Beautiful weather. And, you know, we had our event a few weeks ago with it had to do with the arts. But this is just another way to do it. And they're, such, they're so creative in the way they've got the tables outside and the different tents and the different countries. So I, I think it's really creative. And very festive. And these students are just so proud of displaying their artwork. That's my favorite part is talking to the students and finding out why they do what they do, how they do it. Because it's, it's fun to talk to them when they're there with their work. Tell me a little bit about what you feel this foundation means to our community. 
Well, the State College of Florida Foundation, I'm sure, is wonderful in helping a lot of our students. I know uh, the Manatee Education Foundation, we help, we give money to that foundation also to help with scholarships occasionally. And I know it's a great school and a wonderful, you know, asset to our community. Just and tell me a little bit more about the Manatee. Well, the Manatee Education Foundation, and we had the State College of Florida people, the USF people, we all really go to each other's events and support one another. The Manatee Education Foundation, our sole purpose is to support the 12K public education. So we, you know, we're just, we uh, focus on the high school student artwork and do a lot with all different kinds of fundraising things. Our next big thing will be the Galvano Golf Tournament that we'll do in May. So I think the community uh, really comes out and supports a lot of the programs that all of us do and it's really great to, to see that. Well and you think about that, the foundation that you support as well, I mean when you look at the high school students and then this is their next step. That's right, they're ready to come in and uh, you know go right to State College of Florida because I was just talking to the students and they said what a wonderful faculty and great support that they had and so many of the students really love the art program here at State College of Florida. Well, thank you, Mary, for spending time with us this evening and enjoying this event. Thank you, and it's my first time here, so I'm going to go and see more about it and, you know, enjoy the artwork. Okay, thank, thank you. you so much. Bye. -bye. Bye. We're here with Dr. Sander Stone, and you are the Chancellor at USF. I am, yes. Tell me a little bit about your collaboration with SCF. Well, we are great partners with SCF. I really enjoy working with Carol very much. We have, uh, in addition to the academic programs where we have a lot of uh, transfer students that come from SCF to our campus, we're also working together in a collaborative effort with other colleges in the area to try to promote student success and see how we can leverage the assets that each of our institutions has to offer and really promote higher education in this community. And there is so much here to offer and these students are so proud of their artwork. I think I saw you buying one. I actually did buy something. <laughs> I really, really, you know, enjoy participating in things that support students and I'm happy to see the great talent here. It's really amazing. It is amazing. Yeah. I, I've looked through the different stages of the artwork and it's incredible. Yeah, I mean, it's really impressive. So happy to have a piece now hanging in my home. <laughs> nice. And so many people don't know. I mean, they think about colleges and they think they're separate, but this collaboration is just fantastic. We're really excited about it and we're looking forward to seeing what we can do both from the academic program side as well as promoting faculty research and promoting some other kinds of shared activities that we can do with students and to promote economic development in the community and maybe uh, one idea that we have is so that students could maybe even take courses from each of the other campuses so we're really happy about working together and um, really letting the community know what we all have to offer. Well thank you so much for all you do for our students, our community and I hope you have a wonderful evening. Well, thank you so much. You thank too. you. All right. We're here with T. Andrea Edwards. This is your artwork and a winning, award-winning artwork. Yes, ma'am. I was uh, floored when I found out that I'd won. It was um, a really awesome feeling. Tell me a little bit about what the State College of Florida has done for you in your career and in your education. Well, um, I initially came back to school to kind of get a break from real life, as you would say, and I wanted to take up some um, artistic things. And this was one of the classes that I chose, and uh, my professor, Barbara, was, was just very, um, she's very welcoming, and, and she taught very well, and I just, I really loved the class. So tell me, have you always been an artist? Is it something that you found later in life? It is absolutely something that I found later in life. Um, 
my my first love is actually writing, which is kind of artistic. Uh, and this class was actually a really big struggle for me. So when it all came in, came to place um, towards the end of the class, it was just really breathtaking. Tell me a little bit about the selection for the award, the process that maybe your artwork had to go through. Well, um, they gave us the template uh, for the um, carousel, and I initially wanted to actually um, do an actual horse coming out of the carousel horse, like the horse was breaking free. Um, but my teacher advised me to go in a little bit of a different direction, and I know they had a panel discussion about which ones they wanted to choose. It was a pretty lengthy uh, process, and we found out uh, uh, at the beginning of January, I believe, that we had won, so it was... Um, it was really nice. Well, congratulations on your award and many successes in your life. Thank you so much. We're here with Rick Hager. Rick, so great to see you this evening. Thank you. It's nice to be here. And you are not only alum, but you are on the board of trustees yes, for SCF. I yes, I am. I, I love this college, and, and it's great to be involved with it. So that's what I want to do. And tell me what this event means to you and our community. Well, it means more to our, our youth and our young people that are in this community that want to go to college here because this helps to raise money for them to go. And uh, without the scholarships that are available through the foundation, that, that's what we're about, is, is education for our kids here in the community, even if they can't afford it. We're going to try to help them. And tell me a little bit about how people can donate for those scholarships besides this evening. Uh, there's a lot of different ways, but you know, just contact the foundation. We're always looking for people to set up scholarship funds, and, and that's a wonderful thing to do. So we, we, we're excited about it. And the foundation is a great place. Just call Cassandra Holmes, and she can take care of it. And everybody that I've talked to this evening that are so supportive of SCF and this foundation, it is incredible the support that you have in our county. Well, I, I'm a lifelong resident of Manatee County. Uh, I went through high school, you know, grade school, elementary school, mid, middle school, all that stuff here. And when I went into the service uh, and I, I finished my four years in the Air Force and I came back, this is where I wanted to go. I spent two years here and went on to University of Florida and graduated with a en mechanical engineering degree. It's a great college. It, and my GPA went up when I went to Florida. So this is a great school. Well, thank you for all you do for SCF and being on the Board of Trustees. And thank you for your service. Thank you. Ray and Chris Baden, such a great festive event this evening. It really is. I mean, I'm surprised, but with the people that are involved, I'm not surprised. They, they really know how to do things. It's a great, great party. And tell me a little bit about your involvement with the State College of Florida, Ray. Well, you know, this used to be my hunting ground here, and they built this college right on top of where I used to hunt and fish and just run around. We lived out here before there was anything here. So I had that I had that connection with them, but we've recently put a little scholarship fund in for some students in the science fields, and so we're hoping to see something from that. And Chris, you're an alum. I attended uh, when it was Manatee Junior College, I think it was 1978, and uh, went on to other academic uh, pursuits out of out of the area, but. Uh, spent time here then and it's great for us to be uh, supporting the scholarship uh, foundation with uh, with our research project absolutely ray and tell me a little bit about <laughs> ray tell me a little bit about what the state college of florida and this foundation means to our community well you know when they said they were going to put a little junior college out here i thought well junior college way out here in the woods what, what's that all about so we didn't realize the impact that, that this could have. A lot of us didn't. Some of us did. 
and what it would do. And it, it's, it's been one of the greatest things that happened to let these kids all get started and get their first two years in, then they're accepted into a four-year university. It's, 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 it's wonderful. It really is. Well, thank you so much for all you do for our community and for the State College of Florida. Well, I'm glad to be able to do a little bit. Thank you so much. Have a great evening. Thank you. We're having a great evening. Congratulations on such a wonderful event this evening. Well, thank you very much. We've been looking forward to tonight, hoping for good weather. We couldn't have asked for better. It's absolutely perfect. And the opportunity for students to take advantage of this living lab, to talk to people about their art, explain their creative process, has just been amazing. So tonight, for one night only, everybody that's here is a faculty member of the State College of Florida. How fabulous is that? And tell me a little bit about what the foundation means in the State College of Florida in our community. Well, obviously, the State College of Florida has been here for almost 60 years now, and our mission has always been to provide opportunities for students and to work with our local community to make sure we're providing the type of graduates that we need, and we're very proud of our history, and we look forward to our future. The foundation, we couldn't do what we do without the foundation. The foundation is what allows us to go from good to great, if you will. Um, we have a lot of students with a lot of need, and in order to get that education, they need just that little extra help, and the foundation works very hard to make sure that we can do that not only helping students with scholarships, but also with new programs. And hopefully tonight we'll be able to announce a new program that we'll be starting in conjunction with one of our title sponsors. And the students tonight that I've spoke to are just, they're so proud of their artwork and having this opportunity to showcase it at this event. Well, they are, and like I said, this is a living lab, so not only do they have to go through the process of figuring out how to price their art, how to talk about their art and their um, creative process with potential people who want to buy their art, but they get to keep all of the money that they make from the sale of their art tonight. So they're experiencing that whole process of being an artist and what it takes to really put all the parts together and be successful in that endeavor if that's what they choose to do. And, and an artist in you as well. <laughs> Well, this is just what I like to do for fun. When I'm not working and I get a chance to get away, it's peaceful, it's quiet, it's beautiful, as you can tell. So taking pictures underwater is just one of those things that allows me to express the creative side of myself. I love it, and it is a beautiful artwork, just beautiful, that you have, and just amazing. And just to be able to have that little bit of creative moments in your busy day, as I know, running this great university. Well, thank you very much. And it's a work in progress. I like to think of myself <laughs> as getting a little better every year. And um, just the fact that in, people like what I've done enough to want to buy it and put it in their home is, is such a, a, so flattering. But all of the proceeds from the sale of this goes directly to the foundation. So I, I can't say thank you enough for everybody who's here this night and supporting the State College of Florida. And I see a few sold signs. I have. I'm very happy <laughs> with that. <laughs> well, thank you and congratulations again on this fabulous event. Thank you. We really appreciate it. We're here with Pam Swain. Pam, so great to see you this evening. It's wonderful to have you here and all the people here. It's a wonderful event. And the energy here and the excitement of this evening. You've been planning this for over a year. Yes, we have. We had it last year and we've topped it this year different focus this year but all in all it's always to help the students of the State College of Florida. And tell me what that means to our community. Well we, we provide educated people that go out into our workforce so you can be paralegal, you could be a nurse, you could be working in the fire department, insurance, any number of qualified persons that are trained here and then go out into our Sarasota community. They stay here and it's a big contribution to Sarasota and Bradenton. And as the chairman of this event, tell me a little bit about behind the scenes. 
Well, this year we really wanted to focus on the students. I was an educator and for me it's the process of learning that changes lives. So we had the students produce the art and as you've seen some of the booths, they're actually selling it and they're proudly explaining their process and then they see what it's like when their work is sold and so it's tremendously rewarding. And I understand they get to keep the money oh, yes. from or the proceeds from the sale. They do. Every penny from the sale of their art and they went through quite a process. They showed us the art, the committee reviewed it, critiqued it, they went back and changed it. So it was the whole real process of being an artist and they are very proud. They are very proud and talking with those students tonight and for the foundation and for SCF to give them the opportunity to not only showcase their art but give them hope for their future. I agree. And some of these students, really, they'll use the money that they make tonight to continue going to school. So it's a, it's a wonderful give back, a win-win as we would say. And congratulations on such a wonderful event and the excitement that's behind it. Well, thank you. As you can tell by everybody here, we've got a wonderful community that is supporting the college. So we're very proud. And thank you. Thank you so much. Have a great evening. Enjoy the festivities that you created. Well, thank you. And I hope you'll stay also. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. We're here with Chris Fowler, the president of the foundation. Congratulations on a fabulous event. Thank you. I am so excited. The weather's perfect. We have 200 fans and friends of the State College of Florida on this spectacular evening. And tell me a little bit about behind the scenes of the foundation. Oh my gosh. Well, our mission is to mainly provide scholarships and enhancements to the college. And uh, that's our mission. And we work to have every single child that wants to be able to have an education here at State College of Florida, we wish for them to have that opportunity. And you make such an impact on the lives of our students. Tell me how people can help the foundation. Well, you can certainly by attending the events such as these. Uh, we do scholarships. You can open a scholarship with our foundation for as little as $500 and people are amazed at the impact that that small nominal amount of money has on a child or a young adult coming to college here. And the excitement behind these students this evening showcasing their artwork, it is just incredible. Isn't it spectacular? They are so proud of their work and I think the fact that they're, they're, they're selling their wares, they're getting to keep the money that they're making and probably using it to you know, help enhance their education here at the college. So it's, it's a phenomenal event. Well, thank you for all you do for the foundation and for making a difference in these students' lives. Thank you very much. Have a great evening. We're here with Cassandra Holmes, the executive director of the foundation. Cassandra, congratulations on a fabulous evening. Thank you. And tell me a little bit about what this foundation means to our community. Well, this foundation was created in the um, late 70s, and since then it has grown to be a vibrant be benefactor through our benefactors and donors. They've been helping students with scholarships and programming and equipment. And tell me a little bit about this evening, a year in the planning. Well, we started with an idea that we wanted to feature some different students and we really started thinking about our art students. Our art students um, have a vibrant program under the direction of um, many of our faculty and we felt that the faculty could really um, partner with them and kind of do the full circle and how to create the art but also how to market it and um, they're selling their art here, all the proceeds the students sell under their tents go directly to the student and they had to do business plans and um, also pricing and how to create that type of art that would be beneficial to sell. And I saw the excitement in those students. I mean to be able to sell their artwork here and be able to display it and how proud they were. 
I know. It really is very exciting. You can see the pride where they're, um, you know, talking about their art and how they created it. And also they can really, you know, showcase some of their talents. And I think that's really important as well. So what's next for the foundation? Well, the foundation will be hosting another event on our Venice campus on April the 9th, 2016. It's called Evening Under the Stars. And Evening Under the Stars is a fantastic evening with over 2,000 people. Fireworks on our Venice campus. Our Venice campus is in South Sarasota County. And that is fabulous. I can't wait to see the event and tonight, beautiful, beautiful. And right now, um, playing in the background is our State College of Florida Jazz Ensemble. Our Jazz Ensemble performs many times in the Neal Performing Arts Center. And I would encourage each of you to go and look at our programming on scf.edu music and look at some of our vibrant music programs. Thank you so much for all you do, and congratulations on a fabulous evening. Thank you. Charlie Hackney, great evening, Charlie. Beautiful evening. I was in charge of the weather. Perfect. So you did a great job. Did a great job. You did. And so, praiser for the Manatee County and involved with the State College of Florida for over 30 years, though you look so young. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> thank you. So, no, um, I am a proud graduate of Manatee Junior College. Um, I served on the Board of Trustees for nine years, and then I served on the Board of Directors of the Foundation here for 20 years. So uh, I've gone a long way and seen lots and lots of changes, and I mean, it's just, it, it's so exciting to be out here tonight and see this place and what it's become and all the things that it, it does. It's just, it, it's really gratifying to be a part of this. And such a festive event this evening. Tell me, all those changes in the years that you've been involved with the State College of Florida, anything stand out for you? Gosh, I mean, it's just so many. I mean, having been involved and in, in listening to people tell their stories, I think, of, of um, particularly like, you know, single mothers and, you know, as they go through here and, and what a life-changing experience this is for them. And it's just, it's, it's just such a wonderful thing. And I mean, it's just, I mean, it's just, I, I don't know. I mean, I just get choked up thinking about it. It's just, it's such a nice place and such a wonderful thing and such a, an asset for our community. It really and is. to make a difference in people's lives and these students and give them the pride to know that they can make a difference in our society. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they, it's just such a wonderful place. And, you know, having graduated from here and then I went on to FSU, and uh, I mean, it was just, I got such a foundation from here to go on with, to con continue my education. It was just, a, it's just a wonderful thing and, and I've enjoyed it and I'm so proud to have been a part of this. And to have the impact that you have um, over 30 years here, it is just incredible. And we thank you so much for all you do to make a difference in our students' lives. Thank you, and I certainly can't take much credit for this. I mean, it's just such a, a wonderful faculty and staff and the foundation and every part of this is just, it's just wonderful. So, thank well, you. Charlie, thank you so much, and have a great evening. Thank you so much. <laughs> Bye-bye. Dan Doyle. Dan, what a fabulous evening. Uh, thanks, Veronica. Yes, what a great night it's been. It's so great to be here at uh, State College of Florida right here in Bradenton. We are so lucky to have a school like this right here in our hometown. 
And tell me a little bit about Bells and their support of the foundation. Well, Bells has always uh, had a partnership with State College of Florida for uh, many, many, many years um, through scholarships that we give. And we've had a number of students come here and we certainly recruit students from here and uh, love the fact that that partnership uh, allows us the fact to come over here and get students from State College of Florida that can go to work right for Bells. Uh, we really love it. So uh, it, it's great to have them right here for us. And the artists that are here and the graphic design, I'm sure that Bells is absolutely interested in. And those students, they're so proud of their artwork this evening. The artwork tonight was absolutely fantastic. And I'm sure that uh, some of those students would be uh, great people to come to work for us at Bells. Uh, we, we would love to have them apply. Well, thank you so much for supporting this event and for being a part, such a big part of our community here in Manatee County. Veronica, thank you very much. We had a great time tonight and can't wait for next year's event. I know, that'll be the third annual. It will, and I uh, hope we can come and have some fun and uh, hope that uh, people come out uh, in a big way to uh, continue to raise money for State College of Florida. Thank you for all you do to support our community. Our pleasure. Hi, we're here with Judd Nicholas. So great to see you this evening. It's an awesome night. Thank it you. It is a beautiful yeah. night. And wow, what an event this Love is. It. So as president of the Bradenton Kiwanis, tell me a little bit about how you support the State College of Florida. Well, Bradenton Kiwanis Club has always uh, been a big supporter of the uh, State College of Florida and the foundation uh, through scholarships, through mentoring, um, through supporting all the programs over here. Um, it's, you know, the Braden Kiwanis Club has been around for nearly 100 years. State College of Florida, I think, is 60 years or so. And um, it's a great relationship that we've had for a long, long time. And the students this evening showcasing their artwork, the bright futures that they have before them. It is incredible about what the foundation does to give them hope for their future. You know, these are the. This is the future of Manatee County. This is the future of Florida. The future of the United States. And um, it's 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 inspiring. It's encouraging. It 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 really is. Um, this is what it's all about: is to give back to students, to allow them to succeed and excel. And um, Braden Quantis is thrilled to be a part of it. And that they get to keep the proceeds from their artwork and the ones that were auctioned off tonight. Yeah. And I know that you know they're learning so much about how to market their artwork. Right how to really set the stage for their future. Well, you know, State College of Florida is a gem in our community. And, you know, you, you ask five people and they know 100 people who have been to State College of Florida or at least been touched by it in some way. And the students here are amazing. You know, it's just a two-year school. And, and the music and the art that comes out of this college, it's just amazing. It's really inspiring. Makes you want to go back to school. It really does. It really does. <laughs> I'm, a fan, I'm a big fan of Charles Clapsaddle. Um, no, no, it's, I'm a big fan. We gave him a little award at, at, at uh, Braden and Qantas a few weeks ago, a couple of months ago. And um, he didn't know he was getting it. And I kind of introduced it, and all of a sudden I announced Charles Clapsaddle, and he poked his head behind the mic, the uh, the camera, and he was pretty surprised. But he's w much deserved. I'm a big fan of Charles, a big fan of Emmy TV. And make they make a great difference in the community as sure. well. So Judge, thank you so much for all you do for our community and the support that the Bradenton Kiwanis give to the the SCF. Yeah, it's my pleasure. We're happy to be here. It's an awesome, awesome night. And under the stars, it's perfect. I love it. I love it. Now, I would like to introduce State College of Florida Foundation's Board of Director President serving over 10 years and in her second year of her presidency, Chris Fowler. Thank you. It is a pleasure to be here tonight with you to honor our sponsors and friends. Your participation is a lasting impact on our students' lives, which you've touched. We could not move our mission forward without your financial support. Thank you to all of our Bronze and Friends sponsors, which are listed on the screens to my left and right and in your program book. 
Our silver sponsors for the evening, Bradenton Kiwanis Club, Manatee Memorial Hospital, NDC Construction, and Williamson Daycar Architects. Thank you. Our gold sponsors for the evening, Swain Properties, BMO Harris Bank, and Neal Communities. And our title sponsor for the evening, Mosaic and SEI Investment Company. I'd like to ask Dr. Probesfeld and Miss Jackie Barron to join me at the podium. Thank you so much for boldly engaging in the future of SCF. SCF is the region's first choice for an innovative, responsive, quality education, workforce training, and community partnership. It is my pleasure tonight to announce SCF's new collaborative partnership with Mosaic to expand FCF's engineering program to include two new additional manufacturing and technology opportunities. I would like to introduce Ms. Jackie Barron, Public Affairs Manager from Mosaic and title sponsor to say a few words. Well, it's my pleasure, and, and look around. I mean, it's a no-brainer when it comes to partnering with SCF. We're honored and thrilled to have this opportunity, and I want to say that, you know, Mosaic, it's very important. Since I joined the company, one of the first things the company wanted to focus on was growing our own employees here, growing more Manatee County employees. And I can vouch for Mosaic when I say it's a good, it's a good company to work for. And uh, I've enjoyed being a part of the Mosaic family, and we want to grow that family here locally in Manatee County, and we're honored to make that happen in partnership with SCF. Thank you, Jackie. It's awesome to witness these innovative programs benefiting our deserving SCF students. We're deeply grateful for all the sponsors that have joined us here tonight, and we appreciate your philanthropic partnership with us, and we hope that you'll consider joining us again next year. Before I conclude, I would like to ask my fellow board members to please stand and be acknowledged for their efforts. Hold your applause until the end, please. Jody Allen, Jennifer Mitchell, Mike Fuller, Lisa Bristow. You're supposed to be standing. Uh, <laughs> Judge Egg Nicholas, Chris Romine, Dr. Carol Probesfeld, Trustee Liaison Rick Hager, and the chair of tonight's event, Pamela Swain. Thank you so much. Yeah. <clears throat> it is my pleasure to introduce State College of Florida's sixth president and number one fan, Dr. Carol Probesfield. Well, thank you so much for joining us tonight for this amazing event. I ordered the weather just for you and the beautiful moon. So again, thank you for being here. It's so wonderful to welcome you to your community's college for the second edition of Avenues de Artis. I hope you enjoyed strolling through the streets of London, Madrid, and Florence while experiencing the beautiful art and music of our students and faculty. I'd like to thank our sponsors for contributing so generously to allow our foundation to host this event. One more time, if we could please take a moment and recognize our valued partners. I think I've said to a few of you tonight that there's nothing I enjoy more than bragging about the State College of Florida, but I would not have the opportunity to do it tonight but for you, so thank you. Special thanks must go to Pam Swain, a member of the SCF Foundation Board of Directors, and the chairperson of tonight's event. Pam and her committee have flawlessly built on our 2015 inaugural Avenues de Artis event, showcasing our community centerpiece, the State College of Florida. In London, 
you can see the work of a dual enrolled high school student from Manatee County. In Madrid, the work of a Ringling School of Art and Design student taking enrichment classes at the State College of Florida. And in Florence, the work of an SCF student and veteran of our armed forces. These artists represent the talented and diverse student body of the State College of Florida. Tonight, for one night only, you all are part of the faculty of the State College of Florida. You are instructors in a living learning laboratory for our students that teaches them the art and science of pricing, promoting, and selling their works of art. These students gain academically from this experience and to financially support their education, they will retain 100% of the revenue from the sale of their artwork this evening in the tents. Finally, I have to thank the artists and the performers. I'm inspired by you, humbled to be your president, and honored to have this opportunity to highlight your talents. I want to recognize, in particular, the parents of students who are showcased here this evening for joining us and supporting their students. In particular, the parents and grandparents of Kyle Patch, who are with us this evening, demonstrating their belief in Kyle and his talent. His artwork is featured tonight in the Yellow Street of Florence. These talented students and their dedicated faculty present more than one, I'm sorry, more than 30, I'd like it to be 100, but more than 30 theater, music, and art shows throughout the year. I invite you to come back, bring your friends, bring your family, and engage with us and enjoy the art and culture of the State College of Florida. Thank you again for your generous support and for joining us this evening. I hope to see you back again real soon. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Probesfield. On behalf of State College of Florida Foundation Board of Directors and college staff, we are SCF proud under your leadership and involvement in our great community. And now we really would like to start our exciting live auction with guest auctioneer and Bradenton's number one personality. Vernon DeSeer, Vice President of Manatee Healthcare Systems. Take it away, Vernon, and bid high. We'll have to move that up, won't we? Thank you. Great to be with you tonight. It's always a pleasure um, to be among friends, um, particularly friends that support education, and particularly State College of Florida. Um, spent a lot of time. Uh, and positive uh, uh, efforts uh, toward this college. And uh, I'm so pr proud to be a part of it and proud to be here with you tonight. So I'm sorry. Is that better? <laughs> I have to get down low here. <clears throat> so anyway, campus is beautiful under these fantastic lights. And State College of Fo Florida Foundations live auction will not disappoint you. First, we need to review the housekeeping items. There are four live auction items this evening. Three first place State College of Florida students artwork representing Madrid, Florence, and London. And one 10 person four course dinner and wine pairing at Madison's 41. All proceeds will benefit State College of Florida student programs and scholarships. So please notice the volunteers out in the audience that will recognize you when you ring the bells at the table, especially created by Pam Swain. The volunteers will motion to me to recognize your bid. And I can tell you, it's going to be hard for me to see you. <laughs> so uh, you're going to be out here to help with that, I'm sure. OK, good, good, good. Our first auction item represents Madrid, which was the Red Avenue and the first place winner created by Eric Brown, who's a State College of Florida student. And it's a motion to, uh, or I'm supposed to motion to Eric. Where is Eric? Eric? Is Eric still here? No. Oh, okay. oh. 
Eric has an early bedtime. Uh, anyway, with this piece, Eric wanted to show the elegance of the carousel horse using design elements inspired by Alphonse Mucha, combining symmetry through organic shapes that flow with the white with the horse's stance, like, like, is it Mucha? Mucha. I don't know what this is. Mucha's work. This piece was inspired by nature in a symbolic sense. Carousel horses already have a feeling of whimsy, which made it easy for Eric to enhance the imagery. Eric created the line work with pencil and colored the entire piece in Photoshop. For Eric, he enjoyed mixing these mediums to accomplish a completely original work of art. Many of Eric's designs are inspired by Madrid's architecture. So, this is our first item. The starting bid is $200. Where do we have a bid? I know that you're just anxious to do this. That's who that is? Yes. Oh, so the winner is Tom Beeler. Ah, okay. And you wonder how I knew that, but I had someone tell me, so <laughs> that works. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Our third item is from London. This is the Blue Avenue, and our first place winner, Lydia Cummings, another State College of Florida student. Is Lydia here? Lydia's not here. Okay. When forming the idea behind her piece, Lydia took inspiration from what comes to mind thinking about London. When Lydia hears the word London, she instantly is brought to the image of rainy weather. Going along with that, she pictures reflections and puddles so elegantly messy. Watercolor as a medium can give weightless vibrancy. While looking for inspiration, Lydia came across pen and ink with watercolor pieces that capture attention effortless, effortlessly. <laughs> Drawn to this, Lydia decided to test her skills with the Adobe programs and created something she hopes others will find as beautiful as she does. Okay, representing London, our another starting bid of $200. London, the blue, got a bid of, uh, of 200 Okay, from the boss. Oh, Miss Angela uh, got, an, got $300 from Angela over this way. Who'll give me four? Have four hundred dollars from Dr. Probst, Dr. Probst. <laughs> and Angela's going to up you one with five. <laughs> Who'll give me six? Got six hundred from the boss. Who'll give me seven? It's going to be seven over here. I got six. So who'll give me seven? Seven? Anybody over here? Oh, got seven hundred dollars, Dr. Probstfield. Who'll give me eight? Got eight hundred. I like this. We're in a battle now. Got eight eight hundred from. Commissioner Ba, maybe I should say that. <laughs> Got a bit of 800. Who'll give me nine? 900? I think we're moving up into the right direction now here. Let's, let's uh, get that up if we can. Anyone else? Sold for $900 to Commissioner Ba. Very nice. Nice. All right. Thank you all very much. Good to be with Thank you, Vernon. We appreciate your participation and those that were bidding tonight and our sponsors to move our mission forward. Thank you very, very much. We first met Pam Swain as a scholarship reader through Jennifer Michelle. Pam's contagious enthusiasm made her the perfect addition to the Avenue's first committee last year. Her natural leadership skills were a perfect match for inviting her to serve on State College of Florida Foundation's Board of Directors. And secondly, to chair the second year of Avenue's DRTs. We are in awe of her boundless energy and her dedication to our mission and to education. I would like to introduce Pam Swain. Thank you. You're so sweet. You're my team. <laughs> Thank you, Cassandra. And yes, I have the bell that doesn't ring. I don't know what that's about, but anyway. 
It's a pleasure to have you all here. I cannot thank you enough from the bottom of my heart. This is something we've been planning for quite a while, as you've already heard, and I don't want to speak too long, except to tell you that I'm very passionate about education, and I can tell that you are too. So thank you so much for being here. I would like to recognize the committee members, and if you would hold your applause until they all stand, and I apologize if I miss spell or misname, mispronounce any of their names. Um, but Lisa Arago Hoban, Phil Baker, Mary Lou Bale, Catherine Bazzara, Julie Fogarty, Mary Ann Nicholas, and Christina Najmi. Could you please stand? Thank you so much. We were a small group, we were a powerful group, and we present we ended up with a great end result, don't you think? So thank you. Now what I'd like to do is have you all take out your tickets because we're going to do our raffles. And while you're doing that, I would also like to tell you something else that we discussed as a committee. I really, um, it was brought up in front of the committee whether or not we would do an ask. And there are always two sides to that, whether or not it's appropriate, people have spent money to buy tickets, there are other opportunities to spend some money, some of it goes directly to the students, some of it goes directly to scholarships. In the end, it goes to education. So we weighed what to do, and we decided that there really is no harm in asking. And if any of you here would like to make a donation, there is an envelope on your table, you can actually specify what you'd like it to go towards. If you'd like it to go towards uh, a stethoscope, you can put that on there, that that's what you would like. If you'd like it to go towards a semester of education, you can specify that. You can take it by check or credit card. You know, that won't be a problem finding you for that. But we would greatly appreciate it. We educate the workforce in this community, and it's very, very important. So I'm hoping that you will find that comfortable to do. Thank you, Pam, and thank you to your fantastic Avenues Committee. The centerpieces of tonight's event are, you will notice some of you have especially created birdhouses by our SCF Muse Museum Club under the direction of Joe Lacassano. You may own these fine pieces of art, they're all different, each table is different, for a $50 contribution. You may simply raise your hand and you may purchase the house that is on your table. Or if you find one that you want from another table, feel free to have the discussion amongst yourselves. Now, we need to have desserts. And Chef Paul is inviting us back to the streets where he will have flaming desserts for us to serve ourselves, and they are specially created for this evening. You will see a table in the Yellow Avenue, which is Florence, and you'll see another one being prepared for you on the Avenue of London, which is blue. Thank you all very much for joining us tonight. This concludes our program, and um, everyone have a safe evening. <laughs>